All right, hey, Riley here from becominganelectrician.com. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to buy strippers, wire strippers for electricians. Now for me personally, I always like these ones with the yellow tips. So whether it's by Greenlee or Klein, you know, for me, I don't really care about brand name. I just care about what works for me, okay? And so the yellow tips are the ones I like. There's lots and lots of different wire strippers out there. And at the end of the day, it really comes down to preference. So it's not that one wire stripper is better than another. It just comes down to preference. So we are going to talk about why I like this particular model and in general, how a wire stripper works, right? So it allows us to strip wire. It allows us to cut um, machine screws, you know, in finishing, and it allows us to make our wire hooks and I'll break all that stuff down in this video. Uh, one thing I wanna share is if you guys are interested in my wire splicing series, so if you wanna learn how to actually strip your wire, splice your wire, all that kind of stuff, you guys can check out my wire splicing series. Just go to becominganelectrician.com forward slash free and you will see the wire splicing series on there, okay? There's also my free book and all that kind of stuff for apprentice electricians there. Okay, so why I like these yellow tips. Now, when I first started as an electrician, uh, my company got me started with a starter kit. You know, it has a bunch of basic tools. As you can see, this Greenlee, the, that one came with the starter kit. And I got a really good experience with Greenlee here. Eventually, I tried the Klein ones. And as you can see, uh, I accidentally cut some live wires. And this one actually uh, lost the spring. I actually do like this spring. Uh, some people actually remove the spring, right? So you can see that. Another thing I just want to quickly mention is when I'm using these, if this is my pant pocket, I actually don't put these strippers in like my pant pocket like this. I actually put them in like that. And it just allows for such a fast workflow to be able to get your uh, pliers uh, as you're working, okay? So why I like these yellow tip ones is the order layout of the wires. Okay, so you can see that it is might be a little hard to see. Let me use the clients because these ones are newer, but I did blow them up. So you can see that it has 18, 16, uh, 14, 12, 10, and this is solid. And if I show you on this side, um, you can see this one's stranded. Okay, so it's it got uh, blue out there, but you can see, so the stranded is always um, one less than the solid. But just the order layout, you can see that the 14's right in the middle as well as the 12. So this just always, let me knew that it's like, you know, the middle is always 14. And then you can even double strip with the 12 for that workflow. These ones here are white tips. And so what happened was I ended up trying this model. You know, when you're in the trade, you always wanna kind of try different tools, see what one's best. And so you can see that this one here actually has number eight. So if I bring up the yellow tips, you can see that this one has number 10, but this one goes to number eight. Now you might think, oh yeah, nice. I could do bigger size wire. But the thing is when we are dealing with a uh, bigger wire, most of the time, this number eight, a lot of times it's stranded. So in my previous video, I talked about different types of wires in the residential setting. And again, this is all part of this wire splicing series, uh, but you can see that this is stranded wire. And so when we, we actually go to use, um, this number eight, you can see it's only good for solid, all right? So again, this is number eight, it's stranded. You still can't use these strippers for it. And also just the wire layout, the, it put the number 14 near the top and then number 12 was in the middle. And I could just never get used to this order layout, you know, how the wires were laid out. I was always used to these yellow tips. So this is, you know, these ones were just my absolute favorite. Either one, Klein and Greenlee, both, literally the exact same experience. Like if I, put, if I put them over top of each other, it's like the exact same experience, okay? So whatever one you can find that's most affordable, go for the yellow tips. Again, this is just what I like. And I'll break down some other types as we go along here. So uh, typically when we are stripping this number eight wire, a lot of times we would uh, open up our strippers. So imagine this is stripped, right? We're gonna have our single conductor. A lot of times we put the single conductor in here and we just kind of gently kind of make a groove. And then a lot of times you might remove it like with your pliers, you kind of pull it off. Or once we get into bigger wires, a lot of times we're just using our knife, okay? So the yellow tip ones, um, I didn't enjoy for the layout as well as for a general use electrician, this number eight is not very useful in common applications. And then uh, as you can see, the smallest you can go here is um, number 16, whereas this one is um, number 18, okay? All right, so that's just a little breakdown on my favorite wire strippers, okay? Now, there are tons of different wire strippers out there. Uh, nowadays, you might see ones that allow you to both splice 
and strip at the same time. I've tried these. I found that they were a little heavy. I also found that they were a little thick. So it didn't give like that, that nice natural, you know, kind of precise feeling of these. These have just been so awesome that I've really, really enjoyed them. And so now I want to talk to you about stripping wire. Okay. So I talked to you in this, in the other video, but this is something that I really want to get across. So when we're stripping wire, sometimes the actual insulation doesn't come off very easy. So sometimes if it doesn't come off easy, you can quickly strip it. Then you can get your pliers and you can pull this off. Okay. And this is always like a tried and true way of doing it. Okay. So if it's blurry now, what happens is a lot of people, they're very aggressive on the wire, on the copper, and the copper is very brittle. We want to make sure that we're protecting it. So if we strip it, you can see a lot of people, they'll, they'll be really aggressive because it won't come off. They'll be like that, right? And you know, just to pull it off. And I just want to share with you, you can see how messed up this wire becomes. And when that happens, if we try to bend the wire, you know, so typically on a job site, we're not bending the wire like that. We're just going to splice the wires. And the more that a wire bends, um, the easier it breaks. Okay. So that was only a couple bends. Now, again, I break that all down in the wire splicing series. So just go to becoming an electrician.com forward slash free. Okay. Now, another thing I want to say here is because of the layout. So again, number 14 is right here. So we have 14 and 12. And because of that, we are able to do double stripping. So again, you always want to be careful. You're not being aggressive on the wire, but if you are working on a lot of plugs, so again, this is number 14 and number 12. Okay. So I'm putting one wire in 14, one wire in 12. And so what I'm going to do here is we are just going to do a double strip. So watch, I just squeeze it, strips them both. Now I can pull it and look at that. So you can do a double strip. And like I was saying, so because the number 14 is right there in the middle, right? Number 14 is right in the middle. It just allows when you're when you're splicing or when you're stripping number 14, that it's right there in the middle and you just get a lot of good pressure. Whereas this one, because the 14 goes up one, it just, it always messed with me. I could never get used to the actual layout. Okay. I just want to explain a little bit more about the machine screw and then also making your hooks for your plugs and devices. Okay. All right. So when we are in the finishing stage, we have what's called machine screws. I just took this out of a box, um, like a, an octagon electrical box. And so this one is an 832. Okay. So for lights, we're using 832s, but for switches and plugs, we're using a 632. So in the finishing stage, and you can see that we have 632 and 832. All you have to do is just open it up and you can cut this at the exact length that you like, which is so powerful. Now make sure that you never put them in this way, because if you do, you're going to cut and you're going to have a little piece stuck in here. Okay. So again, this one is an 832. So I'm just going to gently um, put this in like this. And sometimes you might even have to use a screwdriver, but typically you can just kind of hand bomb it in there and then you're just going to cut and I'll share that with you. And so usually if I'm going to um, cut something heavy like that, I'm going to do it this way. Okay. It kind of goes with my hand. Um, and also we're not using this to cut anything aggressive. Again, this blew out because I cut through live wires. Uh, but if we are going to be cutting um, we're only cutting very, very soft things like wires. Okay. Um, if you guys check out my video about how to buy Klein tools, pliers, uh, you will, um, you'll know that these are the 2000 series, right? Which means that they have the hardened steel and we can be cutting, uh, screws and stuff like that. Okay. So let's see if I can cut this. So that one is actually pretty hard. Um, but you can see when it cuts, it cuts it quite clean. Okay. So you can see it's a, a pretty clean cut and so what that does is that we can simply unscrew this so i will probably need a screwdriver hopefully this uh, phillips will do it for me in this video because these are robertson's you know the squares or i'll just use this multi-screwdriver so this is my favorite multi-screwdriver by the way uh, it is a, a, the actual 11 in one by klein tools they make a couple different models and again you guys can find all that on the website there just by going to the recommended category and i have a lot of different uh, buying guides just like this video this is a buying guide for uh, wire strippers so now we get like the perfect length Okay, of whatever we want, and now we can screw it in. Because again, like I said, sometimes in finishing, you need the machine screw uh, to be like the perfect length. And so that's what you can do, okay? All right, so now I just wanna quickly share how to do your wire hooks, all right? So when it comes to our wire hooks, where we actually put them on the device, so again, if you are gonna be installing these devices, never ever put your stuff in the push, okay? Uh, these are, I believe what they call them like stab locks. I've always been told from journeyman over the years, just don't use the stab locks. We want to make hooks and we hook them onto the terminals. Okay. 
So there's a couple ways to make these hooks. Some journeymen have said, oh, I like to use this one up here. And when they bend it, it kind of makes like a square hook. For me, I actually enjoyed using these for my hooks. And it just gives you, the, you know, um, that's just what I prefer, okay? So all you have to do is you just put your wire in like this. You don't want to put it through too far, but just a little bit so you get your hook. And you're just kind of pushing back. And this is how you do a hook, okay? And so this hook then goes on the proper terminal, right? And we want to make sure that we are putting it on um, clockwise. And so there you go, right? So when you were to go tighten that down, now you have a nice clean connection. And so there you go. So that is wire strippers, kind of a how to buy guide. For myself personally, I like the yellow tips. Uh, there's lots and lots of selection and it really comes down to personal preference, you know, whatever you want, but I'm just passing on my experience. So I first started with these in my starter kit, the yellow tips. I did try these white tip ones, but again, they changed the wire order and I just, I just couldn't get used to it. So um, I ended up going back to a yellow tip and these ones were the same experience as the Greenlees. I ended up blowing them out. <laughs> so I went right back to these ones, right? I just couldn't get used to these. In terms of other styles of wire strippers, like I said, there are ones that you can splice, but again, they were a little bit thicker and didn't give me like that same kind of finesse that these gave. Um, and there's also like kind of those automatic strippers. You'll see a lot of YouTube videos about those, you know, they're, they're kind of clickbaity titles. They'll be explaining the new best way how to strip wires, but really like those have been around for quite a bit now too. And so they kind of auto strip your wire and for some reason, a lot of bosses never really liked those. And I really don't know why. I don't have a preference on them. Maybe it's just because of like the way how it sh um, removes the wire insulation. It kind of rips it rather than um, um, actually kind of makes like the kind of cut. But at the end of the day, I'm just telling you what I have enjoyed. I'm not here for, you know, this is the best brand or that's the best brand. I'm just telling you that the yellow tips I have really enjoyed. So... Okay, so when you're out there buying your wire strippers, consider this, try it, and I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys do want to stay updated with the website, just go to becominganelectrician.com forward slash free. There's tons of free training on there. I have my free book for apprentice electricians, as well as that wire splicing series, and I will be coming out with more series as well. All you have to do is just sign up with your email. I send you like one email a day, and you can unsubscribe anytime you want, um, and I hope there's a lot of uh, educational value in there for you. I'll talk to you guys in another video. Again, just visit me over at becomingandelectrician.com. There's tons of articles for you guys there.